chin tucked boxing, baby. Where we at now, boxing man is winning the heavyweight division, man. The I O three kings, they all took yep. losses. You know what I'm saying? So it's a new landscape. I want to see what happens. As Americans, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little upset, man, because our American heavyweights ain't looking too well right now, man. We just had a one just got knocked out a couple a month ago in uh Big Baby Anderson. Yep. Now Wilder have been put to sleep. So now as American heavy as an American, man, we don't have no heavyweight contenders right now to even mention right now, which is kind of sad. But we had one back in the day, man. We had one, we had a champion, man, who had the WBC title for 10 defenses, man, that we wanted for for a long time to see them fight the UK champion when they were both undefeated, both knockout artists, both had all the accolades and whatever else you want to name. Both was knockout punches, and I feel like we messed up on an all-time great fight, man. Yep. Do you remember how you felt back in the day when Wilder was on the tear and Joshua was on the tear? Do you remember the excitement you felt, you know what I'm saying, looking forward to that fight, man, and how disappointed you kept being over and over again when we kept getting other opponents and other yeah, excuses? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I, I, I was looking forward to the fight. I always thought that even though they kept pushing the fight, back and come up with excuses why they couldn't make the fight from you know from both sides i'm not gonna get into all that who thought it was <laughs> we felt that at some point they would hurt. come to they would come to terms you know and be able to make <laughs> that fight before we got to this point so mm -hmm. it's kind of kind of bittersweet because we never got to see a great fight but me as a boxing fan i still want to see it because I still think those two styles make for a exciting fight. You ain't never told no lie, real nigga say word. Well, I'm still interested in the fight, but we missed out on a big fight because I'ma call it just to sum it up real quick. They didn't take the cash out. And what I mean by that, anybody that plays on FanDuel, I'm gonna take this weekend, I put in a twenty dollar bet, you know, and I see it, it's for three hundred dollars. I want the three hundred dollars. The bet is looking good the first half. I'm already got the money. I'm counting what I want to do with the money. And I get a cash out for $89. And I say, eh, $89, I can win three. Yeah, got money, money. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a hole out. And mm. everything with the shit clean. And that's kind of the same thing with Joshua and Wilder. You know, yeah. you trying to hold out and build it up and build it up. And they could have, they should have took the cash out instead of just trying to maximize it to the, to the top. They they, they went too long, and it was too much of a risk. Just just take the cash out, take the winnings, make your money, make a part two, and come back again and do it again and make and make hella money. Rather than oh, instead of me getting forty five million dollars, I want sixty million. Mm -hmm. But it, it's forty five million dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it's legacy. Y'all both missed out on that opportunity. I think Eddie Hearns was in the way of it, man. I was happy Eddie Hearns from it because he saw, in my opinion, he saw that Wilder was still dangerous. I think they was playing the waiting game. I think they was waiting for Wilder to slow down. And they, they like you said, they kicked the can down the road too far to the point where Wilder started losing. And then Joshua was also starting losing when, they, when he lost to Andy Ruiz. But it goes back, it goes back farther than that, in my opinion. I think they was questioning Joshua Wilder when when Klitschko caught him. When Klitschko caught Joshua Clean, even though even though he got up and won the fight, everybody was saying, yo, Wilder catch him with that same shot is over with. Cause everybody know how heavy handed Wilder is. You have to go night night, nigga. You have to go night night, nigga. So much take the money, you know what I'm saying? It ain't so much take the 45, 50 million dollars is how my money gonna look for future fights. That's why I think Eddie Hearn was thinking. It was marketing Joshua with his undefeated young phenom, you know what I'm saying? And then they have an American version of that that looks that looks like a monster. You know, you don't want to lose to the American heavyweight and give him the juice, quote unquote. So they didn't want to give Americans the juice, in my opinion, by him being the new undisputed, undefeated champion of the world. That's what was on the line. It wasn't so much the, the, the it wasn't so much the money. I think they knew what was on the line. It was both undefeated records on the line. It was both, you know, all the titles on the line. Who was going to win that fight was going to be undisputed of the world and would have been the new cash cow in the heavyweight division. And I don't think Eddie Hearn wanted Joshua to be, you know, the the, the loser of that fight, even though they could have had backup fights, in my opinion. Yeah, man, so in my opinion, it's sad because we could have seen that, you know, who do you think, in close, who do you think made the biggest mistake early, though, to cause that fight to be kicked down the road farther? Do you think Wilder made the mistake 
the bigger mistake by pulling Tyson Fury up and giving Tyson Fury new life, and then why not having that that trilogy with Tyson Fury? Or do you think um, Anthony Joshua messed up by choosing Andy Ruiz and overlooking the fact that Andy Ruiz was a bad style matchup? Who do you think was the one who actually showed the kink in the armor first and was the reason why the fight got kicked farther down the line? Hmm. And that's a hard one. Um, I would say Wilder because he gave, not not saying it's more his fault, but I just say for that example you gave me, I say Wilder because he gave life to uh, the fear. Fear was it was a dead man in boxing. Like, yeah. Fury didn't have no mockability. Nobody cared about Fury. He, I mean, not to bring up his past, but we all changed. He was on drugs. He was overweight. He won't take him boxing seriously. He was depressed. And he got a second life. Uh, Andy was still was on the come up. He, he, was, he was a guy that we were saying that he won't first tier, but he was second tier, trying to get the first tier. So he was on the come up. So it kind of made sense to fight him, even though the styles was horrible for uh for Joshua, but it made yep. sense as far as the fight. But with Wilder, he put him as lent the hand to Fury that end up costing him some money with Joshua. But he did make good money with with uh, Fury also because he got three fights, so he still made that bag anyway you look at it. Chin tucked boxing, baby. <laughs> <laughs>